Hey guys, welcome back to Ashmar Breedum, and today on this episode, we are making a campfire delicacy. I'm outside showing my wife and kids how we used to make a dessert called caramel apple pie in the Camp Dutch ovens. And I don't know if you can see it, but right back there, I've actually got two does feeding in my woods right now. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how we make this. Okay, folks, what we need to go ahead and get started on making this caramel apple pie is we have six apples peeled and diced. And to this, I added two-thirds of a cup of sugar. I added about two-thirds of a cup of chopped pecans, two and a half tablespoons of tapioca, dried tapioca, and then about one and a half teaspoons each of cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg. And to make the streusel topping, we have one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats. We have three tablespoons of brown sugar. We have two-thirds to about three-quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add just a little bit of this caramel syrup in here. Then we get this mixed around. It doesn't take very much because this is already sweet. But we used to make this a long time ago back when we went camping. And I got the 10 inch Dutch oven over there already warming up by the fire. And this is just your standard 9 inch pie pan. Now, what I have here, this is our home brew vanilla extract. And I'm going to add about one teaspoon. Of this home brew vanilla extract to this mixture. I wish you guys could smell this and I might do a video on how I made that at a later date but that's pretty simple just vanilla beans and a few other minor ingredients but look at the color on that that's beautiful right there and it smells delicious. I'm going to stir this in. Now, let's go ahead and set this aside and let that macerate for a little bit. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up with my hands. My hands are clean. Make sure you get that brown sugar all mixed up. You know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to this as well. You never have too much cinnamon, can you? About a teaspoon. Let's add a little bit of nutmeg. About a teaspoon. We're going to get this mixed up. Make sure you get that brown sugar incorporated into everything. And the final ingredient that will go into this is some chopped butter. Okay. We're going to add these little bits of butter. Add just about half a stick cubed up we won't use that one and we're just going to go ahead and get that worked in we're outside i'm showing the kids how to cook over the fire it's a beautiful spring i say spring it's in the middle of february and it's almost 70 degrees out here i think it's 65 today warm breezy so i'm out here showing the kids what to do with some excess apples that were gifted to us over the weekend all right all right yeah we'll the back. 12 inch oven here i have my nine inch pipe head in there we're going to go ahead and add our mixture of apples. Gosh, that looks good and it smells even better. So we're gonna go ahead and just add that in there. Folks, it's been my experience to go ahead and add the pie pan to this Dutch oven prior to adding this mixture to it because you make a mess if you try to put it in there otherwise. So we have about half this mixture. I am gonna be making two pies today. So we added about half that mixture, oops. Don't want to lose any of that good stuff. And we're going to take some of the streusel topping and put it right on top. 
try not to spill any on the bottom of the oven. But if you do, it's not that big of a deal. This, if it's properly seasoned, it will clean up pretty easily. I try to take pretty good care of my ovens. All right, folks, we're going to call that just about good. Now we're going to get this on some coals. Okay, folks, we have a little fire going. We'll scoop up some of these coals. We're going to place around the outside edge of this 12-inch oven. That is important. Place them around the outside edge of this 12-inch oven. I know some people like to use those briquettes. This is just the way I learned. Just the way I learned how to do it. I'll take this one right here, set it on top, and I'm gonna break it off first. You don't want any ash because ash insulates and you don't want any dirt because dirt will insulate you want the coals preferably hardwood this here is actually ash and hickory today i believe now i'm just going to place this around the outside edge i'm going to pile these back up get this stuck back up And every 15 minutes for the next hour, I will come back and I will turn this lid. I'll come back and show you that process in just a few moments. All right now folks, it's been about 15 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and rotate this lid. I've had to rearrange a few of these coals on top. And you wanna be able to put your hand about six inches above it and hold it for a count of five, four, five. And that's when, when it starts getting hot at five seconds, that's when you know you're right around that 350 mark. So I'm gonna use my long lid lifter here that a friend of mine made for me. I'm gonna rotate about a quarter turn. And I'm going to rotate the pot about a quarter turn. And we're gonna let it go for another 15 minutes. And we will repeat this process for about one hour total cook time. All right, folks, it has been almost an hour. I turn this pot about every 15 minutes and the lid the opposite direction about a quarter turn every 15 minutes for the last hour. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see if she's ready. Oh yeah, that one's ready. I'm gonna shake the coals off here. I'm gonna set this down and I don't know how well you guys can see that but that see how this is bubbling up over there in the corner that is how we used to make our caramel apple pie so stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and get this inside we'll get it out of the oven I actually made two of these and I'll show you what they look like. All right, folks, here they are. I have two nine inch caramel apple pies. I made in my Dutch ovens. I don't want to touch that. That's still kind of warm. I had a 10 inch oven and I had a 12 inch oven going and I did go ahead and do both of them outside. I thought I was going to do one inside and one outside, but I ended up doing both of them outside. And here's what they look like. All right, so if you like this type of content and you would like to learn more about Dutch oven campfire cooking and you would like to learn more about all around outdoor activities, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Ashmar Breedham. Again, thanks for watching.